in today's lesson, we're going to look at order of operations part two. And on the second page, we'll look at the breakfast cereal analogy. I'm coming up with part two because we've had a lot of interest in the first post on order of operations. Well, consider this a continuation of that. First of all, we'll take a look at this problem. First thing I'll do is write my steps for order of operations. We have P. Sometimes remember that as please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And under parentheses, we had parentheses, brackets, and braces. And those were all done inside to out. We had followed by exponents, multiplication, division, and on the last level of order of operations would be addition and subtraction. And really throughout those rules, left to right overrides uh, any any ties on the same level. If you had multiple addition or subtraction uh, steps, you would approach those left to right, unless they are located within some inner parentheses, brackets, or braces, which is what we have going on here. So if you look at this problem, we have right in the center of the problem, we have 1,000 divided by 100 in the center most parentheses here, okay, on that first level of bra parentheses, brackets, or braces. So we take a look at that. We're going to handle what's inside there first. So we have 1,000 divided by 100. You could show your work on the side, but for time's sake, we'll kind of do a trick that we may have learned. Since there are zeros in both sides of this expression, uh, we can eliminate those and come up with a more simpler fact of 10 divided by 1, which is 10. Now we've really dealt with what's inside the parentheses, so now we'll take a look at the next step, which is bringing down whatever we haven't dealt with. Um, so we have the 2 uh, as the exponent, and we'll work backwards here. And we'll bring down what we haven't used so far in the problem. Brackets, 1,234. And the left opening braces. Uh, on the other side over here, we have a plus 7 to the second power. Closing brackets, plus 432. Closing braces. Now, we still have multiple operations going on within these innermost brackets now. Now we have, instead of parentheses, we have the brackets to deal with now. Like I said, we're doing working inside to out when, on that first level of order of, of operations. Now look at I have multiplication, I have addition, I have an exponent, and followed by another exponent. Hmm, what will we do? Okay, well, if I look on the order of operations over here, I can see that, well, I've taken care of the parentheses, so now I'm dealing with these brackets here. And you have to do those within the bracket. You have your own new order of operations set st steps starting. So within those, you no longer have parentheses. We've taken care of those. Now we're going to look at exponents. I can see I have 10 to the second power. And I have, let me just circle that, and then we also have 7 to the second power. Well, I'm going to approach those left to right. Left to right, okay, so I see to 10 to the second power would come first. Let's avoid any confusion, remove those. All right. All right, within that order of operations, those brackets we have to take care of these exponents over here. 
So as you can see, now we're dealing with exponents. We've, we've really dealt with some parentheses. We're still working on these brackets, but now we have to deal with the exponents inside. 10 to the second power. Well, that again, we've seen that before, and now we know that that is 10 twice, and we'll multiply those together to get 10 times 10 would be, well, let's see, basic fact, 1 times 1, and the two zeros we'll tack on. 10 times 10 is 100. Hopefully you were thinking that too. Now we have to bring down whatever we haven't used yet. We have, let's see, on to the left of the 100, we have a plus sign, 9, multiplication symbol, 5, opening bracket, 1,234 on this side. And then we'll continue to the right of that 100. We have plus 7 to the second power closing brackets, plus 432 still, and the closing braces. Now we're moving on. We still have an exponent to deal, deal with. We're still at the exponent step. And that is 7 to the second power here. We have to deal with that. So basically we know that 7 twice multiplied. All right, we're looking at 7 times 7. If you have memorized that fact, good for you. 7 times 7 is 49. All right, 49. And, yep, it's a lot of rewriting, but now we have to rewrite what we haven't dealt with yet in the problem. We'll do that now. We have, okay, let's see. What do we have left? Just going to copy that down. You can see I'm copying from above. Anything I haven't quite finished dealing with yet. Uh, there's the closing bracket. 1,234 are still yet to deal with. On this side, plus 432, closing braces. All right, now we're getting down there. Within the bracket still, we have to deal with, okay, no more exponents. So what is the next level on our order of operations? Okay, we have multiplication. All right. Still dealing with those brackets, but now we're on the multiplication level. Multiplication and division. What comes first here? Well, there's. I can see that there's multiplication right here. Okay. And there's no longer any, there's no division left to do inside this bracket. So we'll take care of that first. 5 times 9. That's a basic type fact. It's nine, uh, 5 times 9 is 45. Plus what we have left, not used. Rewrite the end bracket plus the 432. As you can see, again, I'm just copying down what we have left. Deal with the left-hand side. And the braces again. Bounce that back down so we can see it. Now we've got inside the braces still, well, it looks like only addition left. So we'll deal with that. Now, there's the addition and the subtraction. Again, within the braces, we had our own order of oper operation process to go through. So now, since it's all Addition, we can handle that left to right. We'll take 45 plus 100 first. And that is 145 plus 49. You need to show your work on the side over there. You can do that. Um, before we do that, we'll rewrite our remaining operation symbols and numbers yet to be dealt with. There's a lot of steps involved in here, but if you stick with order of operations, you can get through it. Now inside the brackets, we have 145 plus 49. I really like to prove 
my work. So I'm going to write this addition problem on the side over here. 145 plus 49. 14. 5 plus 9 is 14. Carry the 1. 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. And 1. 194. So here it is. That added together was 100. Whoa! Made a mistake. 100. 94. 194. All right. And what we have left, oh, look, well, we've dealt with everything inside the brackets, so those can really disappear at this point. So we'll just simply copy what we have left. We haven't dealt with that 1,234 yet. Opening braces plus 432. Closing braces. Now we can see that we have subtraction and addition. Again, these are done left to right. If you look up here on our order of operations, it appears that that addition would come first, but that is not so. It is really left to right rules when it, it's like a, a tie at that level of order of operations. Okay. We, let's take a look at this. So now, left to right, we've got 1,234. 1,234, we're finally dealing with that. And we'll subtract 194. Let's see what we get. 4 take away 4 would be 0. 3 take away 9, well, you can't do that. So you need to borrow from your neighbor next door. We've got one left here that becomes... 13, 13 minus 9, 4, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 0, 1. 1,040, almost there. So now we've dealt with these two. The difference was 1,040 plus 432. Your very last step inside these wonderful braces. Okay, to show your work on the side again, extend the page a little bit, bounce that back down a little, and we have 1,040 minus, plus, excuse me, plus 432. It's always good to look back and check to make sure you've done the right thing. Yes, my operation symbol matches addition, yes. So now we've got 0 plus 2 is 2, 4 plus 3, 7, 0 plus 4 is 4, 1 plus 0 is 1. We have a final answer of 1,472. There it is. Now, Again, this was Order of Operations Part 2. If you want a more in-depth um, in, you know, explanation of the individual steps, you can refer to my first post on this subject. But now we're going to take a look at our Order of Operations Breakfast Cereal Analogy. Now the object, we're going to be eating a breakfast cereal. is to get to those tasty marshmallows. Well, in this case, it's the tasty answer. So, well, you might have all these different operations thrown into the mix. Uh, you may have some addition and subtraction mixed all together. You might have some division and multiplication and various amounts in there. These are kind of like the uh, non-marshmallow party or breakfast cereal. But you can pretend that there's an order of eating these things if, if you can uh, follow what I'm doing here. And then we have exponents thrown in. Let's take a look. We have some there, here. I just chose 10 to the third power. The various exponents. And then we have braces. Let's 
let's hold off on that just a second. We have, let's try parentheses. You'll see that bounce in later on, but that's okay. Brackets and braces. Now, when you eat the cereal, you can pretend that you're going through the order of operations. And before you can get to that tasty marshmallow answer, you have to start on the first level up here, which is the parentheses level. Now you got to eat those first, and you can eat your brackets, I mean your braces, your brackets, your parentheses. And then you'll move on. To the next level, which is exponents, and we'll take care of those. Pretend like we're eating those out of our breakfast cereal. Those have to be taken care of first before you can get to your answer. There goes the last tasty exponent. And then we're going to move on to multiplication and division. And we'll start taking care of those. And notice how we're going left to right as we eat those. Last bit of division there happened on the rightmost problem, and, and now, now we're looking at addition and subtraction. Our last level. We'll eat those left to right. Last of all, your tasty marshmallow answer. There it is. So once again, you have to follow the steps in order to get to your correct answer. There it is. 